Hi, I'm Clemens. And I'm Jürgen. Today we want to show you the influence of fine products on the radar technology. And why the 80 gigahertz technology with the Vega Pulse 69 is working better in these applications. The most of the bulk solid applications are looking like this. We have rough surfaces on the, on the surface of the product and so we get very nice reflections. What happens in practice? The energy is coming down to the surface of the product and is reflected in all directions. So part of the energy is always coming to the receiver. It is getting more difficult if we have very fine products, like for example sugar. Over here we have both technologies. We have a 26 gigahertz radar and an 80 gigahertz radar, and both are measuring down on the metal blade. Because a metal blade is a perfect reflector, all the energy is now reflected to the side, and on the echo curve you see no reflections. But in a sugar silo, the surface is looking a little bit more structured than a metal plate. So let's simulate this. We have now one small pack of sugar on the metal blade. So have first a look on the 26 gigahertz radar on the echo curve. On the echo curve you see no reflection because still all the energy is reflected to the side and we don't get an echo back from the level. Let's have a look at the echo curve for the Vega Pulse 69. Even a small amount of sugar is enough to give a very nice reflection. So we can see only these small pieces of sugar are enough that we can have a reliable signal over the complete range. So the Vega Pulse 69 is the perfect sensor for all solids, from big stones to fine product like sugar.